Now, my name is Richard Gadd. I won the LastMinute.com Edinburgh Comedy Award uh, last year, 2016, for a show called Monkey See, Monkey Do, which was a sort of dark uh, theatrical uh, comedy experience sort of that took place uh, in my mind, exploring themes of masculinity and sexual abuse and um, takes place on a treadmill. And when I say it like that, it doesn't sound very funny, but I promise you it was. Uh, the show sort of put it all out there and on a personal level, the more you speak about something, the less ashamed you are of it. Uh, and, and because the month was incredible, because I got a lot of acceptance publicly and privately from friends and from family, and, and of course the award itself, which you know shows that the public support was, was in my sort of favor. It, it made it all right to sort of feel that way for so many years. So on a personal level and a professional level, like the, the, the whole show sort of changed my life. I feel, I, I almost don't recognize the person I was a year ago. And I certainly don't recognize the person I was two years ago. Where is the award? Oh, I gave it, I gave it to my parents and they, they put it in, uh, my parents put the awards pretty much as you come through the front door. Probably saw all their friends come around and they see, oh, I can't obviously you've noticed this big massive trophy in the corner of the room. But I gave it to them and they were very pleased because they've supported me. and. You know, parents obviously, it's quite a hard profession to want to do, so they could have easily not supported me, so I think they deserve the full support they've shown me down the years, and of course what I've put them through. <laughs> oh, I feel, if, if it, I cannot believe it's been a year. Like, the, the past year's been amazing, and I did like a 10 week run at the Soho Theatre in London. I went to Melbourne, I went to Helsinki for some reason, I went to uh, Amsterdam, and, and all around Britain as well. And uh, a year ago, I was carrying treadmills down all the stairs, and changing in corridors and sort of, you know, just, just thinking how I was going to sort of manage. And I have to admit, I miss the madness. I sort of turn up to some hall now and it's all done for me. And I'm like, oh, you know, so I, I love this place. It's, it's where I wanted to do this interview because it, it holds so many happy memories for me. So we're filming in the, we're filming in the Banshee Labyrinth today. Uh, this was where I, I did the, the, the show, Monkey See, Monkey Do, that won the award in the cinema room. What's next? Well, I want to do another show. You know, coming back to the Fringe, doing a sort of gentle sort of half month, doing the same show and seeing all the new work and getting very inspired by the sort of the, the shows I've seen, a lot of which are on the nominees list. There's maybe, I can't wait to do another show now. So I think that, that my next step is to, to think about what to do next in terms of, of my live work because uh, I've milked this cow dry now and it's time to, it's time to uh, uh, think about what the next one is. The piece of advice I give the next winner is to sort of seize the day and not be, a lot, a lot of people can, can feel the pressure, all eyes on you and they, they, they can run and hide and they can, they can get very anxious and worried about what, what this new pressure might bring but, but, but you have to enjoy the moment, you must enjoy it and you must capitalise on it and you must seize the day and, and I, I, my advice would be to sort of say yes to everything and make the most of the year because the year will pass so quickly so you have to, you have to grab it while you can.